Hello and welcome to this week's Elevenses. I hope you have all had a lovely week. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And now for our first prayer. Living God, being a Christian can be hard. Thank you for a safe place to enjoy your presence. Amen. And now over to Diana for our story and craft. How many hairs do you have on your head? Today's story comes from Matthew's Gospel. Jesus explains to his disciples that following him will not always be easy, but that God will look after them and help them. We have some actions to our story today. As I tell the story, I'll show you the actions and then I'll tell the story a second time and you can join in. Jesus said, don't be afraid. It might be hard following me, but God cares for each one of you. God cares for every little sparrow, but you are more special to God than a whole flock of sparrows. You are so special, God knows how many hairs are on your head. Even when things are hard and tough, don't be afraid. So let's try it a second time, and this time you can join in with your actions. So we're going to be shaking our head for do not be afraid, giving yourselves a big hug for God cares for you, Run your fingers through your hair to count your hairs. And when things get really half hard, we're going to make a fist. So are you ready? Jesus said, do not be afraid. It might be hard following me, but God cares for each one of you. God cares for every little sparrow, but you are more special to God than a whole flock of sparrows. You are so special, God knows how many hairs there are on your head. Even when things are hard and tough, don't be afraid. So God loves us all. He knows us so well, he knows how many hairs are on our heads. Also in the Gospels, we hear that God knows us all by our name. Each one of us is so special to him. When things are a bit tough, we should always remember that we can take a quiet moment and in our prayers, we can ask God for a virtual hug. So, our craft today involves our names. You're going to put our name on a piece of paper. It's quite a big piece of paper. And you're going to put the first letter of your name. And then we're going to put some words across from there that are hopefully to do with this story. If not, they're to do with things that you think about when you think about God or Jesus. So they're related to him. So mine, I've got D from Diana. And I have Jesus said, do not be afraid. And he says, I am special. God is always with me. God knows the number of hairs on my head. And a big A for Amen. So that's how my letters fit in. I would love to see some of yours when you finish them later and see where you manage to fit your letters in to the story or to all the lovely things that we know about Jesus. Maybe you can get one of your adults to send me those pictures later so we can have a look and put them up on the website. Now we're going to go back to Lizzie for our prayers. Our second prayer has a response line. So at the end of each line, if you could say when the going gets tough and join in. Father God, we often run away when the going gets tough. We often fail you when the going gets tough. We often don't listen to your voice when the going gets tough. Forgive us and help us to follow you in good times and in times of challenge. Amen. And now let's say the family prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now our song this week reminds us that God is always with us. So here is every move I make.
And now please bow your heads for our final prayer. You might think of some actions that you could use to join in with this one. Follow in the footsteps of Jesus when you are walking, skipping, jumping, playing. Jesus catch us when we fall or fail and walk beside us through this week. Amen. We look forward to seeing you all next week for Elevenses again. The blessings of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Amen.